hypnosis with real clients facing genuine issues. Brought to you by the hypnotherapist demanded by celebrities, CEOs and even royalty, Adam Cox. These recordings took place live from Adam's clinic in London's world-famous Harley Street. So, get yourself comfortable and enjoy today's episode of The Hypnotist. Hi, it's Adam here, and in this episode of The Hypnotist, I'm going to be doing a short hypnosis session inspired by um, two quotes or, or two ways of thinking um, that are linked to this idea of making the most of right now. And the first is the Latin expressional phrase, carpe diem, um, which has a literal meaning of pluck the day or seize the day, essentially make the most of right now. Um, and then the second is a quote which is attributed to Eleanor Roosevelt, and that is that today is the oldest you've ever been and the youngest you'll ever be again. And I think that's a really interesting way of thinking about time because too many people are worrying about, let's say, the future, or they're thinking about the past that they can't change. And that leads to emotional states experienced in the present, which are not useful to seize the day. Because if you're worrying about what's going to happen a week from now, or a year from now, or five years from now, that puts you in a less resourceful state to make the most of right now. And if you're thinking back to painful memories or regrets or these things that haven't gone your way, again, it doesn't, for most people, it doesn't put the average person in a very resourceful state. So this hypnosis session is touching on the idea of time and um, facilitating a way of thinking to really make the most of where you are right now. So find a quiet place where you won't be disturbed, relax and enjoy the session. Take a deep breath in, and as you breathe in, breathe in a resourceful feeling of relaxation, and as you exhale, just get a sense that any tension, stress, worries are leaving your body in your outward breath. So as you breathe in and breathe out, just get a sense that with each outward breath, you feel like you're becoming deeper and deeper, relaxed. As your body relaxes, your mind can become more imaginative, more playful, more able to entertain ideas and new ways of thinking that can enable you to Make more of your life. I want you to use the power of your imagination to imagine a place that represents safety and relaxation for you. Maybe it's a room, a garden, a park, or a place that you've had a vacation or a holiday to. And imagine being in that place now. Observe your surroundings, the temperature, hear the sounds. Notice how in this safe, relaxing place you can breathe more deeply. You're able to just relax now. And I wonder what it would be like to imagine from this place floating up above yourself and imagine seeing that to one side of you 
is your past and the other side of you is your future. Imagine there is a line of time that goes through you. Behind you is your past and in front of you is your future. And while you're looking at yourself from above, being able to travel forwards and backwards in time, I wonder what it would be like to make a realization that in the present, right now, at that moment, today is the oldest you've ever been. And if we accept that the past provides experiences, opportunities to learn, become wiser, then isn't it also the case that not only today is the oldest you've ever been, but today is the wisest you've ever been. Today is the most knowledgeable, the most educated you've ever been. As you look backwards down that timeline, perhaps you can become aware of all of those significant life experiences that have led to that wisdom. A mistake is an opportunity to become wiser. A missed opportunity. Things you did well, things you didn't do so well, are all opportunities for you to have that intelligence and knowledge and wisdom that you wouldn't have had had that thing not happened. So as you appreciate that the today is the oldest and the wisest that you've ever been, it also stands to reason that right now, today, is also the youngest you will ever be again. So right now, you have the wisdom from your past and you have the opportunity of your future. There will be a day at some point in the future that is your very last day. And you might not know it at the time, but that's where your timeline ends. And the opportunities that you have for the day after and the weeks after and the months after are zero. They will reach a point where the opportunity doesn't exist. But that day is not today. As you observe yourself, I want you to get a sense that no matter how old you are right now, you've never been wiser. Which means you get to make better decisions today than ever before. You could almost look at life as knowing what you now know. What would you choose to do? How would you choose to spend your time? What goals, what challenges, what adventures would you set based on everything you've experienced so far? And then realize that because you're the youngest you'll ever be again, doesn't it mean that in this moment, in this day, there is an opportunity to do things you wouldn't normally do? to learn new things, to try new things, to make decisions that take your life in a different trajectory where you experience more of what you want and less of what you don't. What if you had the ability to be grateful for everything that you have and excited for everything that hasn't happened yet? Or would you rather to feel feelings of regret, guilt, shame from your past and anxiety for your future. Because the timeline will carry on regardless. Whether you're full of anxiety or excitement, 
each day you become a day older. And every day, whether you feel great, great gratitude for your past and grateful for your experiences, or if you feel shame and guilt and regret, the day carries on anyway. The hands of time keep turning, the clock t- keeps ticking, and life keeps moving forward. And I wonder, what if you are able to extract the value from the past, even from some of the worst experiences? Because whatever's happened has happened. And you can't change the past, but you can extract value from the past. What new decisions can you make? What new insights can you take from those experiences that enables you to make the most of the next 24 hours? I want you to now observe what it would be like to see yourself from above in the present, making the most of the next 24 hours. Living with the spirit of Carpe Diem. Seizing the day, observe yourself seizing the day. If you were to watch yourself extracting all the value from a day, what time would you wake up in the morning? What would you have for breakfast? What would you do? What could you do to make the most of that day, but also to create value and give benefits to the future version of you? The version of you that wakes up a month from now, a year from now. Will that version of you wake up healthier, fitter, richer, wiser. Because every day is tomorrow's past. And therefore, the more you do in a day, the wiser you become because the more of life you've experienced. And I wonder just how much you can extract from the day. How many lessons you can learn in that day. What can you do to have a ripple throughout the rest of your life on that day? What can you do and observe yourself in a single day that will create memories that will last years into the future? What can you do that will have a ripple through someone else's life? And as you observe yourself seizing the day, Putting all of that wisdom and experience to use, but also using the energy that you have from being the youngest you will ever be again. And notice what's missing in that day. What would you have liked to have seen yourself do in that day that you didn't do? And what can you see yourself do to increase the probability that you'll get to do that thing in a future day? Some people say live like there's no tomorrow. And while the energy of that is powerful, doesn't it lead to short-term decision-making? What if seizing the day means making the most of that day and rewarding all of your future days. I want you to get a sense then. In your life, there are things that you experience that were ideas of people that are no longer around. Buildings that were designed for people And by people that don't exist anymore. Trees were planted by people that are no longer alive. So what can you do to leave a legacy for those people that can enjoy the fruits of your labor long into the future? Observe yourself 
seizing the day. And at the point where the day is the best, step into that version of you and get a sense that doesn't it feel good to make the most of that day? To be grateful for what you have and excited for what's possible for you. Feel that cocktail of wisdom, experience, gratitude and excitement and enthusiasm and passion to live life to the full, to seize the day, to make the most of life while you're still alive. And now it's time to return. Returning to the present with a sense of renewed energy. I want you to get a sense that you've unlocked something powerful within you. A desire. A desire to live life based on your values and what's important to you and in a way that takes your life in the very direction that you desire most. Find yourself now back in the present listening to my voice. Take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your nose. Just wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. Get a sense that all parts of you are listening to me firmly in the present in your body right now. As I now count from one to ten to awaken you, you will awaken feeling resourceful, grateful, motivated, and excited. Starting to count to awaken you. One, two, three, waking up. Four, five, six, more alert. Seven, eight, open your eyes, open your eyes. Nine, ten, wide awake, wide awake, wide awake. 